All right, guys, we're going to talk about running gait, running posture, and some things to look at today. We have Keith Yoho here. He's going to explain some of the things that he looks at when assessing runners. So actually with running, 74% of your energy cost is actually spent uh, to maintain posture, not actually to help propel you forward. So we need to become very, very efficient in maintaining that posture throughout our trunk so that we can really use our legs and the rest of our body and use momentum uh, to help propel ourselves forward. And to do that and to reduce energy leaks, we need to go ahead and, uh, and really focus on posture. And for that, we need to maintain our diaphragm and our pelvic floor in the same, in the same plane so that we can, uh, we can really stabilize through our lumbar spine. So uh, for example, with runners, if you don't have proper posture, you might see a hip drop here. But if you're able to actually stabilize your spine and stabilize your trunk, then you can really help maintain a much more level pelvis and help move that move that energy forward rather than uh, wasting it in other planes of motion. Huge, huge component. So uh, let's go through a couple of drills that we can do to really help that. So right here we just have a wall and to work on focusing on our posture, first off just coming here and getting good posture and simply falling into the wall and don't let you don't let yourself lose your posture. So for a bad example, if I lost my posture, you might see you might see an individual go into a lumbar extension, which we really need to focus here. Good posture, pushing up, coming back down, maintaining good posture all the way through. I'm going to hang out right there. So one thing I want to note on this is Keith, if we were to draw a plumb line from his uh, lateral side of his ankle up to his ear, it's going to be a straight line. That's good posture, and that's what we want to see. But what we see a lot of with these weekend warrior runners is they dump into extension and they have that open scissors posture, if you will. And that, that just causes all kinds of low back pain, hip pain, and that's something we want to address. And this is what a drill that Keith likes to use to um, use with assessing his runners. So from that, we really need to work on taking our posture and, uh, and going into our running gait. So we need to maintain our st stable spine and work on flexion against a stable spine. Most people, a lot of people really have trouble just coming here and not losing their spinal position and their, their rib cage position as well, just simply doing these drills here. So once you become proficient on one leg, uh, go ahead and do, do the other leg and then you can start going into alternating. All right, from that, we can go ahead and make it a little bit more difficult and a little bit more active. And uh, a lot of people like to think that it's the, uh, the hip flexion motion that really uh, helps runners to become faster and to increase their cadence. But the big propulsion is actually focusing on pushing into the floor. So right here, I can come in, do a few of my simple uh, flexions against the stable spine, and then start adding force. You can see how just by me pushing into the floor really helps propel myself forward. So he's getting full contact on the ground and that other side is coming up just from reaction forces. It's not, he's not bringing it up actively, it's just reaction forces from him grinding, uh, hitting his foot to the ground full contact. So progression one, we are focusing on maintaining a stable spine while alternating legs in a slow effort. Progression two, we maintain the same criteria while speeding up the cadence. Progression three, add a slight forward lean. Finally, put it all together and take it to the track.